today the kettling's been completely different and the policing's been completely different. We're not even allowed in the middle of the road today. Now, Tina quite rightly says that she wants to stand in the middle of the road, as has been our right for the last few months. We are having no right for peaceful protest. interested to see what happens because so many times we've been allowed to stand in the middle of the road we can all see that I can't get across there because the dust love to snatch me it's snatch happy Friday they've already arrested two people come on no come on no but but officer, we can do this every other day. Yes, please. Where should we go? I know. It's a vehicle. Please remain there. I'm not in the road. I'm warning you. If you walk into the road you one more time, I am walking you're going to be across. restricted for obstructing the highway. I am walking okay? across. Okay? It's your final warning. If you go on the road again, you're being arrested. That's 1692. Now this is what we have done for months, there's no need for it. And this verge that Tina stood on actually belongs to Lancashire County Council, but they've handed over responsibility to it, to Cudrilla, until the 31st of January 2019. Oh, and we've got TRS Tyres GL64YLK. Tina is on the verge and, and it's LCC verge. I'm not quite sure how much more rights to peaceful protest can be eroded before people realise, look, this is now... We are effectively being kettled on this pavement. We've not been allowed, so it's middle, low... It is a full-time containment, really, in all honesty. If we walk onto the road, we'll be arrested. traffic to be facilitated because Tina's actually on the verge. Yeah. And this is Cumbria and the Matrix. And they've got lamps up there. what's being said <laughs> but no one's safe on snatch happy friday look we're on the pavement there's no one on the road Hey Nick, 
How are you? <coughs> oh, here's an evidence manipulator. Standing right in front of me. Cheers, man. Naughty's not evidence gathering. Oh, here's Roz. I've no word. Oh, let's see what's happening there. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Oh, don't get arrested, Roz. We are no longer allowed to stand in the middle of the road. I went away for an hour and when I come back, the police had claimed literally half the road. It's like living on the Western Front. So, so this is a state of affairs on Preston New Road now. This is going to be a permanent thing. I think it's to justify keeping on extra police here because there's been nothing all week. But we do have, as we call it, Snatch Happy Fridays. That's how they justify the, the, the police in here. There's been nothing all week. It's quiet as church mice. It gets to lunchtime on a Friday and things start to change. But this, this is beyond the pale, this one. You can't just decide that people aren't allowed. So we can't go on that side of the road well, we can't go past into the cross hatches at all now. I know. They've already threatened to arrest Tina. She goes on the road one more time. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I'm keeping well out of it today, or else I'll be hurtling my way to Bonnie Street. Probably via the hospital if they get their hands on me, you know what they're like. <laughs> well, we know it is, Chris, but... Oh no, that's it going up to put a new pipe in. Oh, is it? What, to add to the piping that's already there? Or no, no, they, they, they've 
previous piping's been pushed down. Yeah. So the new piping gets pushed in and it gets drilled down. It oh. takes about two hours, 45 minutes. Okay. Which it shouldn't do. But it's very rusty and very old. Yeah, you can see a bit of rust. Mm. Is it going to leak when it gets down there? Or at least with the shaft? It's, it's not the best. That's why we've nicknamed it Rusty the Rig, to be honest, mate. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's why we've nicknamed it Rusty the Rig. Okay. He's got his own Facebook page now. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm looking at it. It is a bit of a shame for him. Are you the person that might come down to Lancaster and do a talk? Well, I don't do, I don't no. think so. No, you were someone down. There was always someone down here last week. Oh, someone else from our group was talking someone else down here. Um, they, they might come and do a meeting, you know, just a meeting. Oh, about, that'd be good. Knew a lot about the workings of the site. Yeah. Like that. You'd be surprised how very little people... People in my workplace here were saying yesterday, well, what is fracking anyway? It was pretty surprising. We think everyone knows all about it, but they don't. It is shocking. It is actually, people don't yeah. know, But the media, the state, they don't want people to know about fracking, do they? Uh, it looks like, you know, like you know, they do one of those um, rides, fairground rides, where they take people to the top and then they yeah. drop it, you know. It goes up and then the, you go up and you do next angle and they drop it. Well, <laughs> oddly enough, if you like... Rusty's page, Rusty the Rig's page. Yes, we that, like it. That's we'll... what, that's what he was promised it was going to be when oh, he got to Oh, really? Blackpool. When he got to Blackpool, yeah. And he was kidded. You know, like some of the contracts. Yes, he was the... devastated to find out he was He's a fracking rig. He actually a fracking contract, so yeah. yeah some was... of them said, oh, we didn't know he was Well, he thought fracking. he was going to be a and part, uh, a theme park ride in oh, Pleasure Land. Oh, 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 well, he's devastated, as you well, can imagine. Well, how far are we? Yeah, we're only he's five just miles. Short, five miles from the. Yeah. That is the. Uh... It's a sad tale. It is a sad tale. And as it only means that the, the Blackwell switch on might mean the people being arrested today might get bailed out quicker because they need the cells because it's the big, big switch on tonight. This could be. That could, could be, be our. PLO begging her not to do it, no, begging her not to exercise her right to cross the road. It's a shameful do, isn't it? It's a shameful do when PLOs are begging people not to walk on the road or stand on a verge because they're going to get arrested. This is what it's come to, literally what it's come to. Civil liberty has yeah. been eroded before yeah, our very exactly, eyes. Because all I was doing, I was, I was crossing the road to uh, show a bit of support dinner there actually and I just got bundled out of the road back here where I am right now anyway so he's uh, yeah they make the rules up as they go along the British uh, state they may, they've been making them up as they go along for years forever yeah. but this I only went away for an hour I comes back and this has happened terrible crossing in front of the traffic. So I've explained that I'm going to stop doing it and I don't really want. I'm not going to lose my ability to cross and recross this road when I choose to. Well, well, and the second we do, we give in and we accept that we will ne not, that we've lost that side of the road that's been ours since January the 5th on the basis that they've decided that the strength and the width of them can stop us moving. So our wisdom and our choices are inhibited because big lots are bigger than us. And that's an unacceptable state of affairs. So yeah, so he said, um, he's tried to reason with me. Even yeah. in the middle of the road, the traffic Yeah, so I've explained that on a personal level, I'm not going today without having done what I feel is really important, which is make that statement. So I'm just going to do it. And I know they're going to arrest me and it's shit. <sighs> what else do you do? I sit back and go, you know what, I will be told what to do. As a totally innocent, never committed a crime person, I'm going to totally do what you tell me to do. Then I live in a police state, and there is no valid reason 
for what they're doing. There is no valid reason to stop me crossing this road. I, I said to him, I, I will absolutely comply. Give me one good reason. There isn't a good reason. It's all well for the interest of safety. Well, there's no unsafety if I'm sat in my usual middle road. There is no unsafety in that. And all that happens with that is that on Monday we get to wake up and they've taken the centre of the road and we never get to get it back again. says you may cross and recross any road it's absolutely not do and now they are stopping absolutely. me from crossing and recrossing so if i let them do that then i, I let my granddaughter's future down in a bigger way because then i lose democracy so i'm running out of charge i've got 10 percent left now so uh, there's a charger there if you want it Go. Have you got enough charge that I can borrow that just for two minutes? You can borrow it for a while. I've, I've got one sort of full now, I think. Or nearly. Right. I don't know. Um, she doesn't actually know what she's doing with life. I don't know what she's being very kind. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just wondering along and I'm holding it, hopefully pointing it in the right direction. Take care, Tina. We'll see you oh, later. Right. I'm going to find out which bit goes first. I'll look at that in two seconds. Um, I'll take it. We'll have a look at that in two seconds. Oh my God. I will do in two seconds. Your man just try to call you. Your man just try to call you. Oh no, it's not a man. Yes, yeah, so keep going. It's all right. You can arrest. I don't care. I'm not going to stop. There's no need to hurt me. No, we're not. We're just making sure no, you're not going on the road. Don't hurt. Sure you can do it. I'm a very small person. Very busy cars They're... coming across, oh, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I made it to fifty-five. Yeah, that's all. And now please. there are no cars. I've got to cross the road. Why? There's no cars. Yeah. Okay. Solidarity. 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 I've had me, I've had me, I'm not talking I'm on the pavement and I'm standing up away from every curly tail I can find. Apart from you. But we're not going to. And we're not going to stop here, we're going to tomorrow and the next day. And we're not going to go Kent. Oh, come me here. Do you know Kent? You know me 20 miles from France? Yeah, My God. Sorry. I'm kicking dogs now as well. I'm sorry, dogs. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. To be on the back? Yeah. Oh look, the evidence manipulator's out now, after it's happened. Well done. <laughs> but did you see, I got I got assaulted walking up the path. Three police officers. Do you know what? We don't walk up and downs on ones now. Sometimes not even twos. It's not really? safe. Yeah, you can't go down the fire in a day on your own. Well, you can't. You don't always get snatched. But if they know you, you're not safe. We you know, know. I was just walking up with the dog to walk up here. Uh, and three cops had a go at me. I'm putting a complaint in. I've got all the numbers. Shocking. What? Call a shame here if you want to put it on. Yeah, if you've got the numbers, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Got a pen. Yeah, it's on. No, it's on. Oh look. For Cowardice. 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 The PLO. He's a he's a nice enough fella, like, but he's he's cowardly, really. Isn't it true, Ben? It's true, isn't it? I haven't put you up there. Yeah, I did. You on there? I'm not. You can't. You can't. You can't. No, no, we, started, yeah, we, yeah, only two days ago, to be fair. But we can't really put Ben on for being reprehensible in, and it's not actually a crime. <laughs> you can put him on for being a supermodel. But he's you know not. A, but he is. Did I tell you? He's getting fat and old now. Hey, I'm oh. bigger than that. Probably. <laughs> listen, my balls are definitely bigger than yours, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're camping this week, and anyway, so I said you're camping this week. I like I'm going to tell the curly tails, come away. Where are you going? They followed me, goes to court Good weather this week. weekend. I'm not telling you. Ben. Go on. I might, I might come and pitch up next year. I can imagine. I can, I mean, well, I had... We could have a camping together. I had D.I. <laughs> D. Melly and the Warrington court behind me a few weeks ago. Oh. Yeah, I did. That was the case. I could facilitate your camping. Yeah, you could as well. You'd probably do a better job in facilitating our uh, peaceful protest. Right, my battery is very, very low, so I'm going to finish and post so that on. I don't know what's wrong. Is this? The police pin one, and then the first. Well, I got it back, but it was never the same again, and then it died. Very suspicious. Yeah, so that was when another Snatch Happy Friday. They just we call them Snatch Happy Friday. If we get a rest during the week, they start snatching people on a Friday. I, I said to one of the coppers this morning, "Come on, let's have a nice day. Let's not have a Snatch Happy Friday. I'm off camping today." And then I went away abroad, and when we came back, the middle of the road had been taken. They'd done a First World War West Down Front, and Tina was hard to be nicked. There we go. Bye. There she is, off in the nicking van. Bye! Take care! And that's how the police do it round here. Cumbria, Larks, Matrix. Kent's going to be gutted they didn't facilitate this arrest, aren't they? They came up for an arrest. Poor Kent. They've come up for writers and they've got hippies and trusties. They must be good. Like, really? You all should really be ashamed of yourselves. Come on. I cannot believe what I have just witnessed today. I am just appalled. You were doing a job protecting the quadrilla. Yeah, it's true. Not the public. If you were protecting the public, you would be on our side of the road and standing against that company. You were risking a grandmother. I cannot believe it. I disagree. Here, I'm I think they're horrible people we'll that want to be here. To and them orange bellies, they love being here. Really like them orange, they're always interrupting these coppers. These orange bellies are just horrible. They're really horrible.